Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 20 of Direwolf20's Let's Play of FTV Sky's Expert Mode. Uh, I am continuing to be on the look for Amethyst Shards. Uh, last episode we found one by bartering a bunch of gold with Piglins. Today I want to take a different approach. Uh, for that I'd like to get into the Eye of Legend, which uh, kind of like uh, like like the, uh, like the uh, eyes um, of Ender, right, that they're made out of, the Eye of Legend will fly to nearby sky islands that are available. There's sky villages in the overworld, and then there's um, nether sky villages in uh, the nether, and it'll automatically transform from an Eye of Legend into a nether Eye of Legend when you go into the nether. Um, in the last version of this pack, as of yesterday, when I recorded yesterday's episode, um, the, the Eye of Legend cost diamonds to make and now it costs other world ashes so you're supposed to now be able to to make this earlier uh as a result i will be doing so uh, i'm gonna make an eye of legend as we speak so i could check out an overworld village or i could check out another village i think i'm just gonna stick with the nether village concept um now the other thing i want to check to see is if this got uh actually fixed or changed there was one other issue is that broom brushes were not quite easily makeable uh, can I make them now? Yellow dock leaves needs yellow dock. Ah, good. Yes. So uh, I reported this yesterday as well when I made my broom. Um, previously, mugwort and yellow dock and all that stuff were um, gated behind mana steel. So these two components that are needed to make a new version of the brush were gated behind mana steel. That was not good. Uh, so I said, hey, that you know, maybe get the move to andesite, and it did, so that's cool. So we can take grass, and we can just uh, sieve it in our andesite mesh, and that should be cool. Good deal. Uh, so speaking of, do I still have some grass? I have sea grass, but I don't think that counts as grass grass. I could totally bone meal up uh, a little bit more, though, if I wanted to. All I need is some shears. I don't know if I want to use those shears, because they're, like, fancy shears. Uh, but I could make these, and that would be cool. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, I would call that. I would call that excellent, actually. So let's... Uh... Oh, I left you guys on, didn't I? Whoops! Happens all the time. One of these days I'll remember to turn that thing off. But not today! So you go there, and then uh, andesite casings. Luckily, andesite is not what I would call super expensive right now so it's kind of not a big deal uh and the site's really kind of relatively cheap for me but yeah no so let's see i would want to do this and that and that'll get me a bunch of things mostly flowers but also a good chance of that mugwort hopefully i'll get at least one of each kind and i think that's a plant that we can grow yeah, if i'm not mistaken what are the chances on those guys? For andesite mesh, it's a 10% chance. So, I mean, chances are I should have got some, right? Oh, got some mugwort. Nice. Very nice. And yellow dock. Very, very cool. Sweet. So those guys can all go away. Mugwort and yellow dock. Now these are bushes. So where do they go? Like, like just on the ground kind of deal or what? Oh, find out, I guess, right? Oh, that seems to be a thing. That seems to be a thing. And I'm guessing I can bone meal you. Sweet. Excellent. Cool. Uh, yellow dock leaves and mugwort leaves are what I believe I need to make the bush, right? It's the leaves I need. Yellow dock leaves and mugwort leaves, along with... Um, Two mandrake roots, which remember those are pretty easy uh, to get. They just need a... Oh, looks like I'm going to have to bone meal a little bit more. Tall grass. So two of you, and then some four wheat, right? And I believe I saw a bucket of water in there as well. Cool. Okay, so like that. I think it was yellow dock on the left. Maybe it's the other way. 
Well, I guess we'll find out. It looks like it's doing something. Hooray! Wet broom brush. Nice. Okay. Uh, and then that needs to go on a drying rack, which is uh, pretty easy to get. Not a big deal. We can kind of just stick you here, I assume. Where does a drying rack get placed? This is just right click to place items and so crash remove. Yes. Do I have to? Like there. Okay, that's cool. That'll work. Sweet. And I assume over time that'll turn into a dried version of the broom brush. Um, and then when my broom brush wears out, I will be able to replace it. So I kind of, before I go exploring the nether, I want this to be dried. So I'm gonna leave this here and we will come back. Um, I wonder if I can put two on at a time, right? Um, mugwort flower leaves and yellow dock leaves and then um, more redstone root right that shouldn't be a problem Boop. cool works for me you can put two on the drying rack at once oh look it's already dry nice okay cool beautiful so now we're good right we've got a broom attachment we're set to go let's get over to the nether and uh See if we can't use our Eye of Legend to find another island. Now, there's also, like, islands here in this dimension, too, which we'll go flying around and find at some point soon. The key that I'm looking for, really, is Amethyst, uh, which apparently will be uh, possibly, at least, easier to find in, uh, in those islands, right? So, yeah, here we go. Eye of Legend. Uh, what I did do is explore a lot between episodes like I went pretty far and I was like yeah I'm not finding nothing I did find an earth and a water and I found an air node so if I need to get those at some point I at least marked where they are hopefully there's ones that are closer and then this by the way looks to be one of those um one of those one of those dungeons from that like super challenging boss fight mod so yeah that's a thing that's gonna be a thing moves in the direction I clicked it, and now my game's frozen. That can't be good, can it? That's not a good sign. It's thinking. And it's thinking. What happened? Whoa, what happened? Whoa, that... Oh, it's that direction. Okay. It's not the direction I was going already? Wait, it took a long time to find that. Well, luckily, it doesn't actually use it up, so that's kind of cool. But that actually has me a little concerned, because, boy, didn't I already go north? Kind of already went north, friends. Uh, see, look, there's like an earth one. So that's cool. Right? So then in the event that things get, you know, low on durability, I've got the extra. I can just swap it out and we should be cool, right? I do like that it doesn't use up the item, though. So that's kind of cool, at least. So I'm kind of moving northwest. So maybe there's one like up here or something. And I just happen to not find it. I don't know. All right, let's see what happens. Cool. I'll be back once uh, I find, hopefully, an island. So now I'm concerned there's a bug, so I switched into creative mode just so I can fly faster. Because it shouldn't be this far away. Like, I'm really, 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 really far away. And I messaged I messaged the FTV team because, like, because I'm testing the pack, right? Like, I got an early version, not just so I could record it for you guys, but so I could help test it and identify bugs. And I found a few. And I found a few, um, you know, like, improvements, right, that we could make. So I messaged them, like, hey, are, like, the islands way more rare now? And they're like, no, it shouldn't be. Why? I'm like, because I've flown almost 10,000 blocks and I'm not finding one yet. Is this it? This might be it. Hey, I think we found it. Okay, cool. Well, at least now I have I have some kind of metric. Um, so server progress has been changed. So I guess I can go into survival mode now, right? Uh, I need to note the coordinates and let them know. And uh, just so I'm not in cheat mode anymore, I'm going to exit and go back into the game. All right, so we should be really careful here, because if I die here, that would probably be bad, right? Um... How's my durability? You're not terrible. You're not all... What are you running around so fast for? Calm down, you. So we're in a crimson forest bound. Maybe if I close the door, he won't notice that I'm... Oh, man, that chest is empty? Weak sauce. 
here for your loots, people. What is that creepy noise? I'm gonna be super bummed if all the chests are vanilla chests and they're empty. That would not be cool. Ah, that's bad. I think they're supposed to be like the loot chests, right? I think. I mean, granted, there's some cool stuff here, right? That I can probably mine and steal, but we should be really careful about where we're looking. That's why I keep looking down, because I don't want to actually... Oh, no, he saw me. He saw me open that chest. Nope, we're running away now. That's not cool. Okay, uh, yeah, I see you. If you wanna, if you wanna get into it, sir, we can get into it if you want. Okay, I think we're cool. Uh, back in a sec. Hey, look, there's a monster spawner piglin here. Also, what I decided would be cool would be to get myself a bunch of lava along here. So, pro tip, uh, you can either just access your, your inventory or uh, you can slash home and then slash back. Um, and that would be a good way to get stuff from your base. So, I mean, this trip wasn't completely pointless because I got lava from it, but I'm very bummed about the lack of chests. They're supposed to be, I assume, loot chests, right? Isn't that a, isn't that the type of chest that you would expect them to be? Um, I'm not seeing them. Isn't it called loot chest or whatever? Uh, no, maybe, no, I don't think that's it. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The, like, player instance chests where, like, different players on a server open them and they're, like, you know. Yeah, that. So I knew there was a big um, lava thing up here. So, I mean, not that we, like, need, need lava. Ow. Hey, don't do that. Ah, don't do that. What are you doing? Stop being whatever you're doing. Have some lava, right? Lava's a little bit tricky to get. I mean, it's not, you know, that hard, but not a bad idea to snag some while we're here for free, right? Well, at least fill her up. Booyah! I got room for two more buckets if I want. Nice. I am definitely bummed about the lack of loot, though. I'm gonna have to find out what's up with that. There we go. Ow. Okay, uh, so let's go home. Because clearly there's nothing here for us. And I will find out what's up. I might try flying to one of the overworld islands. I'm just worried that they're gonna have the same kind of problem. But, hey, at the very least, we got a whole bunch of lava, so that's kind of cool, right? Down with that. Maybe, yeah, maybe we fly over to, like, one of the islands here. I'm worried about how long it's going to take to find one. Uh, mostly because it was, like, I'm worried about, like, the... I'm worried if there's some kind of bug with the Sky Islands. Because, A, it was way further away than it was supposed to be. And, B, uh, no loot. But... Maybe we'll have better luck with the normal island. Let's see. So that absolutely did not take as long. Let's come back in a sec. Hopefully that means it's not far away. Real quick note, I see an Earth node here. So that tells me that Earth nodes do exist in the overworld, uh, not just the nether. So there are elemental craft nodes to be found around. That's 
good to know. So I think we're in good shape here. Uh, looks like we have ooh, punch. Huh? I don't usually use that one. Infinity though, I will take. Infinity, I will absolutely take. What's this one? Multi bow. Fires extra horizontal arrows. Sure. Uh, this place seems to have loots. That's cool. Ooh, onions. I wanted onions. Breakable. Uh, I think I need an axe to break you. Didn't I want onions? Yeah, I did. That's good food right there. Cool. Um, and I'm also getting uh, some other stuff here. Ooh, now we're cooking rose bushes, right? Do I need shears for that? I forget, but I will use them just to be safe. I feel like you don't need shears for that. But I'll use them. And that gives me, like, good stuff, right? I think so. Oh, yeah. Goodies. Real goodies. Melon seeds? I'll take them. Uh, I'm going to be careful about the stuff that I get. Um, it's fancy, though. I kind of want it. Cobbled netherrack from natural... I don't even know how I got cobbled netherrack. But, uh, yeah, let's put away... I want to be careful about the things I get, because obviously we have a little bit of a limit going on in terms of... Um, the, the storage stuff. Godforge Pearl, though, is like the uberness of uberist type things. So that's kind of a cool thing to have. Um, and I'll put that warped fungus away for now. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what kind of loots we can find in this place. Um, Deep Slate Annihilation Cores. That's kind of cool. Ooh, building gadgets. Two building gadgets, no less. Um, and a zombie spawner with redstone enabled and playerless upgrade on it. That's cool. Skull Catalyst. Floating Claconia. There's like a lot of cool stuff here. Also, hello diamonds. What's up? That is cool. A sack from supplementaries, which apparently has nothing in it, but that's okay. Ooh, item trash can. Neat. Yeah, there's a lot of good loots to be had here, aren't there? I feel like, yes. I feel like a real lot of good stuff. Mason workbenches and, uh, oh my, netherite scrap. Okay. Listening, chorus fruit, obsidian. I want it all. Increases movement speed. You know I like that stuff. Oh my goodness, I can't help but grab literally... I literally, literally just said I don't want to grab everything because inventory issues. And then I'm just like, what? Everything is good. Um, do you think you could go here? Oh yeah, no, that's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. I mean, definitely better than not having a fast run speed, right? Ooh, stackable book from Handcrafted. I'm guessing that's just decorative stuff. Ooh, food, huh? Cooked bacon? Yes, sir. Sturdy bee cage. Those are good. Those you can only get... Ooh, my goodness, a purple. Okay, epic. Really trying hard not to grab everything I find, but at the same time... Can you blame me? Really, really trying hard not to grab everything I find. Yes, this is definitely the experience that I expected from... So, so Nether is supposed to be not that far uh, of a thing, for sure. Uh, confirming. Um, and, uh, and yeah, that's, that's cool. So, we definitely should not have had to fly so far in the Nether. And look, there's emerald doohickeys there. We should probably should probably loot some of this, right? Boom, 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 boom. Aha. Oh man, those boots are fast. I love it. Loving it. Fast boots. Oh, amethyst clusters. Yes, please. Um Am I right to think that, like, like, why are there amethyst clusters growing out of books? That's super weird. Oh, mana steel. Hello. And emeralds. And soul wafers. I'm just grabbing it all. I can't help it. I can't help it. It's just, it's too tempting to grab literally everything. But I think we're going to want, like, the fully grown ones. Let's see. That is, what block am I looking at? Uh, isn't there, like, a thing that tells me? I see it over here, Amethyst Cluster, but where's the thing that tells me if it's, like, fully grown or not? Maybe there's just... Mm. I don't know. But, yeah, that... so that's a bud. Amethyst Bud. Medium Amethyst Bud. Okay, so Amethyst Cluster is fully grown, right? Buds are not. So, like, mixed cubed oak bookshelf. Full bookshelf. Interesting. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm, th I'm I'm thrilled because I'm actually getting stuff. Ooh, and an enchanting table. 
don't mind if I do. I should get some of these like vanilla bookshelves that are, you know, vanilla y. Uh, is there anything good on this lectern? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, I'm going to uh, I'm going to loot away amethyst clusters because the more amethyst I get, the better. And uh, I will come back. I also probably want to get some more axes, right? Um, so I'll be right back. FYI, there's Batania flowers around here too. Uh, so. You know, not not that you need to get botany flowers, because I assume if you wanted to, you could just do like the standard bone meal. Is is floral fertilizer standard recipe? So 100% doable floral fertilizer. So you don't need to grab them, but you know we know botania's next, right? So maybe we should grab them. Sage crop from Hexaria. Tomatoes, I'm sure we've got. I'm gonna have so much trouble. I got I got the enchanting dude. Uh, how fancy is the fancy painting? That's what I want to know. Look at all the uh, look at all the stuff we get. Ooh, it is fancy. I love it. Very nice painting. There you go. It's been observed. All right, back to uh, back to looting this village as much as possible. Do you guys have any good trades, by the way? Mm, you can get looting three for a book and four invar coins. It's good to know. Paper for an emerald. Like one paper equals an emerald. That's kind of cool. There's got to be a good way I can, like, get... Well, you know what? It's not that far. If I need to fly back here again, I can. Okay. Um, so I'm going to continue exploring, and uh, I'll be back once I find any potentially uber loots. Look at that sneaky chest hidden over there. Okay. And then it multiplied. But he likes... When they multiply, they like to jump off. They like... They're very... They're very, you know, very funny about that. Uh, so where is this chest? Around here somewhere. Might be like hidden behind this block. Where is this chest hiding? Right under there. There you go. Cool. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't think I need you, but I'll take these guys. And ooh, a zombie spawner. Arkwood stairs deep sleep. Yep. Look at all these fat loots I'm finding here. Uh, this one does attack damage 9.5. That is definitely better than this. And this one does an attack damage of 5.5. Not Oh, it's a copper sword. It's very shiny looking, so I was excited, but it's just a copper sword. This is refined glowstone, though. And it has Ender 4. Throws an Ender Pearl with your sword. Consuming durability. Cooldown decreases with level. Neat. And sharpness 5. That is a nice sword. That is a very nice sword. Found some chocolate apples. Found some more netherite scrap. I will probably leave this a little... I mean, it's a blue, so like I kind of want to bring it. But I'm going to leave it behind because... Not infinite inventory yet. I'll just, you know. Ow! Ah, don't do that. Don't... Okay, nope, we don't want that sword anymore. Sorry. I do I do like, but no thanks. Uh, but I will take this beehive. That sounds like a cool idea, right? That does sound like a cool idea. I bet there's some goodies up here. Yeah, I knew it. Soul Wafers, Spirit of Socketing, Broken Spawner, Obsidian, Temporarily Immune to Fire Damage When Hurt by Fire. Plus three mana regen from Ars Nouveau. I mean, all good things, right? And I could probably just, you know, happily equip this stuff. I do like that sword. Like, it's a nice sword. My concern, of course, being that when I right-click things, I will be ender pearled into them which is not great Ooh, what's everlasting beef tell me that it just lasts forever apparently it does that's cool kind of interesting kind of cool that's something you can make mimic prediction oh oh can i get predict like can i get mimic prediction data models because that's kind of op i think right doesn't that mean i can get like all the things? Yeah. Wouldn't that like that's all the that's all the loots, right? That's all the awesomeness. Pretty interesting. Another building gadget. Woot. Don't forget you have easy villagers here too, so you can pick them up as needed. Alright, a quick slash home, and we're back. 
Um, so yeah, our, our storage capabilities definitely took a little bit of a hit from all that, but I, worth it, right? I would say it's worth it. I would say it's definitely worth it. Um, I would say 100% worth it. We got everything and some more that I would want to get uh, from this kind of experience. And most importantly, we got the amethysts. So does that mean I can make a budding amethyst shrine? I think so. Um, I needed a medium amount of earth, which is just, we have, we have some of the earth still, right? Earth crystals. Let's go through and figure out what we need to make all this happen, right? So if I want a budding amethyst shine, right? Which, if I'm not mistaken, like that just grows amethyst, right? And then also there's like the, the, um, this dude, which can make it grow springaline shards, right? So like if we, I'm going to put this here. And this is what we're looking for. Springline Shrine upgrades. Grow Springline instead of Amethyst. That's cool. Uh, limited to one. That's going to need a pure crystal, which is tricky or to get. But, like, I'm okay with that. Because um, that'll be cool, right? So, like, Amethyst. Where are we talking about? There we go. Budding Shrine. Yeah. So we could get this eventually, but like the key being that springaline is not too hard to get, because I think we need amethyst for it, right? Um, yeah, amethyst shards turn into springaline. So if I automate amethyst shards, that would be cool. Um, so let's do that. The alternative would be, like I said, getting an amethyst golem, but I'm pretty sure when we make those, we need to have an already budding amethyst in order for it to work. So we'll go this route, because I think this is doable with the amethyst we already collected. Cool. So we're going to need um, a shrine, which should be doable. We need element pipes, which need drenched steel, but we can make that happen now, I think. Because um, drenched steel is just going to be um, steel ingots with water. Okay. Cool. Uh, we're going to need earth crystals, which totally doable, right? We have, we've already made crystals like that. Uh, we're going to need some kind of water gem. I think a crude one should suffice. Uh, and for that, we're going to need the gem crystallization process, which needs swift alloy ingots. Oh my goodness, that might be getting uh, a little bit. Uh, element binder, gold, drenched, copper. Eh, it seems doable. Seems doable. Do we have the element binder yet? I don't know if we do. If we don't, we can probably get it. That is going to be a little bit of a process, but it should be doable, right? Um, and then water crystals, obviously, but we can make that happen probably. The key with water is going to be finding a water thing because we don't have a lot of water. And then we need a springaline shard, um, which uh, also, by the way, needs a medium amount of water. And we don't have any water crystals at all. But then we also need a diamond, which luckily we just found some diamonds. So like, I think it's doable, right? Uh, that's kind of cool. That should be cool. Should I fly around for a minute and see if I can't... I'm just gonna look real quick to see if, I mean, like, since I can, right? I should be able to zip around and see if there's any any things near me, right? So there's like none jumping out, but I know I, I saw some, right, while I was flying out and about. But at least we can get like a little bit of the lay of the land for a moment. I just want to see if I can find any of those, like if I can find a couple, then I can get an idea of, are they like always locked to the same Y level or what? Um is the key the key is figuring out what y level they tend to spawn at i know i saw some though when i was flying off in in the direction of that village and also to be fair i think the villages are going to spawn on this one kind of like they did on the other map i think the the nether one is a bug and they're fixing it for the next version so maybe i'll have a, a fixed pack next next update and we'll try the nether again it's not easy to find. I will do this off camera. I was hoping I'd find one sooner, uh, but no such luck. So I'm going to look off camera for a minute and we'll be right back. All right, so this is the one that I found when I was on my way. I kind of circled around and I didn't see much, but there's definitely an earth one here. So I might just mark this real quick. Node earth. That should be cool. All right, I'm going to just see if I can find any others and I'll be back. See, this one's at the same Y level, uh, which is promising. I think it's always going to be like right around Y level 64. Probably because there's no world. So like, no earth again. Let me see what else I can find. 
All right, so I can now confirm that they're not always at Y level 64, because there's definitely some down there too. Like a lot right in this spot though. A couple waters and an earth. No, no, no big deal. Found a bunch of water and earth so far. I'm really looking for air at this point, as I know there's fires in the nether. There's actually a fire one down there too. Oh my. All right, so I uh, decided to take a quick peek, and it doesn't look like extractors are craftable. They do not have a crafting recipe. The improved extractors are craftable, but you need extractors, which you can't. So never mind on that front. That said, I did see the note about dispensing fish. So if I made a dispenser, and then we put a fish in there, and then we got a button. Do we have any buttons? Uh, button, button, button. Oop. Hey, that's cool. Is that a vanilla thing that I've never known exists? Sweet. Well, there's your water sword problem. <laughs> that's solved, right? I'm down with that. And, like, in theory, I could let them drown, like, or just, you know, like, suffocate in air type of deal. Uh, that said, I'm pretty sure it said that this only, you only get the powerful ones if they're killed by players. Did I read that correctly? So doing it this way gives me a chance to get the powerful. Um, plus, I do technically have um, looting from the hat that I wear. Superstitious hat. Now, here's a question. I have two of them. I wonder if they'll stack. Like, granted, I only have, well, I do have the engineer's goggles too, right? Like, could, do you think, like, I have multiple head slots. Do you think, I like, would they stack? What are the chances that stacks? What are the chances that works? I don't know. I guess we'll find. I mean, I don't think we'll ever be able to accurately tell unless I do, like, some significant testing. All I know is it doesn't hurt to try. Deal? Okay. So back in a few once I farm up a few water shards and I'm good to go here. Because that's really the, the thing that I'm missing in terms of shards. Like, we're pretty good on all the other kinds of shards. Though air is not great. We should probably look at air shards. Or do I just happen to use a lot of air shards? What, what, what are air shards? That's right. I can't backspace in there. Air shards are spiders and endermen and phantoms. Okay, cool. Now... Soon we're going to be able to do this, which I think will make this easier. Liquid elemental air, 15 millibuckets. I'm imagining, oh yeah, look at this. There's like a whole thing. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Now this is going to get really cool really soon. Um, but for now, we'll just do this for a few minutes. So back in a few. I wonder if I put a pressure plate in front of you. Do you think that would be... Thing we could do? I'm just curious. Nah, that's right, because it doesn't go back down. Okay. All right, so let's wrap up the episode here, come back next time, and we'll see if we can't make this happen. I think that would be the right path to take. Um, and we should be able to make this. There's a few steps along the way, but it should be doable. Um, yeah, I think, I think we've got the resources to pull this off. And if not, we'll find out. And then I'll be like, oh, dire derp yet again, because that's what happens sometimes. All right, for now, Dalton, I sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and, uh, progress through Elemental Craft. For now, take it easy.